No, no, he didn't. He didn't train out this morning. He was a little crook overnight, but he's fine. We expect he'll be okay. But as you see this morning with us, we seven or eight players don't do much on this day, so it's no big concern to us. That's not, not an indication anyone's sore in doubt. No, 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 no. Everything's okay, everything, no. everything is is as we should be, and that's the side we named. Same for you, Yeah, yeah, we were fine. We had a light run this morning, similar. You know, so we trained yesterday, so guys did enough this morning and just got got rolling and get ready for tomorrow night. Did have, uh, bad luck for Bryce. Yeah. Yeah, he's had a he's had a tough couple of weeks, you know. He's sort of he's jammed up his back, and then he got the gastro two weeks ago, I think, three weeks ago, um, missed a game, and then jammed it up again this week. And we just felt it was just a reach too far this week, you know. Let that settle down and, and get it right. Replacing him coming on the ground slightly differently. Yep. Ah, oh, well, you know, obviously Luke's played a lot of footy for us, and we're always been, you know, keen to get him back in the side. He had the game last week. Um, he's done a done a fair volume of work, so we're, we're confident that our high performance guys got him ready to, to play. And obviously, he comes in in a, in a big game, um, but he's he's played well on this on this stage before. So, um, excited to have him back in the team. No, no, he, he's ready to go. I mean, I, I spoke to him during the week, and you know, he was he was confident. He's confident. Yeah, again, when you get a player with that experience, you sort of they know when they're right, and he felt like he was right. So, and the opportunity came up with unfortunately with Bryce, you know, going down. So, um, he comes in. When you say he was on management this last week, was he like seventy five percent game time or seventy percent? Nah, he probably would have. I reckon at the end of it, he would have been seven to eight minutes under what he normally would have got. So it's not significantly down. So he, he wasn't like he played a half. He he he, he contributed in the whole game. You got the three tall defenders, um, Donaldson, Tails, Keith, and Hardy. And yep. Port really only got the three tall. Ones, both Marshall, Ryder, Weissel sort of swapped there. Yep. Weissel could play wing, could play forward a bit. Yeah. You sort of feel that you could be a bit taller defence given Port might have under two tall forwards. No, not worried about that. <laughs> no, you, I mean, no, I mean, like, what, what, what is no, it? Sorry. You can sort of, your talls can sort of match their smalls like Rosie and Hardy and Donaldson. Yeah, well, we, we thought Donaldson think, I mean, Kyle Kyle's a really good player. Yeah. Um, you know, he's he's probably the best player on the field at the moment. Yeah. 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 Ye
you know, uh, Brogs, you'll be happy to hear that you've said you've come, Matty Broadbent, happy to hear you've come in with some speed, so he'll be really keen on that. But uh, yes, certainly some of the other uh, two of the other boys have got some some real tail. And Mott's is, is an experienced player. We, we're certainly lacking some experience. We get that. So to bring Broadbent and Motlop in for some experience was, was certainly one thing. And then, you know, our speed options were the players in good form. How pleased have you been with Motlop's response? Yeah, look. Really pleased that Stephen's been able to go back and be a contributor for the Magpies and play really strong football. Be a great teammate. I think it's really important. You know, he's got fond memories of, of the showdown last year, so to bring him back is a good time. What about, uh, I didn't have to bring that up. No, I did. <laughs> <laughs> what about the first one? Um, Jonas normally gets Eddie. He won't be getting Eddie? No, he no. won't be. No, he won't, won't. He gets one of your back six will play on Eddie? It's normally what happens, and that's a good... That's a, yeah, look, that's exactly what will happen. I mean, we, our options are a little bit different than what they have been in the past, so we... Um, I, Eddie, Eddie causes us problems no matter who we put on him. So maybe we just do something different and leave him free. He mightn't get as much damage. So, uh, look, our back, our back line will do a, a pretty good job, I'm sure, against the, the Crows. And there's seven of them that will go out there and play and they'll, uh, they'll work and share it together. Have you had to escape to them and pick them up after last after the first quarter against Collingwood? Um, yeah, well, they pick themselves up as much as I had to pick them up or the other coaches had to pick them up. But we played a really high-quality team last week. We, we played an enormously, you know, Emotionally charged Collingwood, and they were really up and ready for the for the first quarter. We we didn't match them in any way, but I think if you look at the last three quarters, we we're in the contest with them at least. And you know we we're not we're not um, silly enough to think that we didn't realise how good Collingwood were, and our boys just understand the the competition as Don just referenced to the competition so tough and so tight. It's what happens sometimes. It's happened a couple of times. Have you been done for them this year? Have you sort of tried to figure out ways to stop the Crows doing that thing on the weekend? We try and figure that out every week, just yeah. so that we, we don't get jumped. We've actually jumped some sides too. Yeah. At the start. So, so I think if you, if you continually look at this competition, you'll continually see sides do some different things or they, they have a good start, they have a, they have a strong finish, they have patches in the middle where they dominate the game. It's just what the competition is, so even, so close. One thing I know is that if we're, if we're off our game at all, we're, we're going to get tested massively by you know, a really good side that we're coming up against tomorrow night. Ken, you spoke about the experience to bring in two young guys in Johnson and Farrell who at least sort of experienced the atmosphere yeah, well, at least they've been there and they've, they've felt. And we all understand showdowns are bigger and better and they're just a big show in this town and we, we like it for that reason. And, you know, we, I think we might have six perhaps playing their first showdowns tomorrow night. Great opportunity for them. Do you speak about that to them? Do you get the group to speak to those guys about the experience and, and I guess just to settle some of those nerves they might have? They've only got to walk around Adelaide for this week and they, they get an understanding of what's coming. I think it's really important that they're big games, we get it. Um, our players get it. I'm sure the Crows players get it. It's on tomorrow night and we, we look forward to it again and our players will be ready for it. Where do you both rate the showdown in terms of Australian sporting rivalries? Oh, from my point of view, I've been here a little bit longer than Don. I think it's as big as you get when it comes to our competition. It's, um, you know, I spoke with Ryan Burton. We spoke a little bit about you know, the Hawthorne-Geelong rivalry. This is big. Don's Western Australian. He knows what the, the games are over there. I, I don't think there's a bigger game in the competition than Port Adelaide versus Adelaide. I just think it's a massive game and they've been such great games that they even grow. Oh, look, it's, it's a significant rivalry and, and has been since, what are we, up to 46, I think? You know, and I, in the last, you know, say last year's games, those two games were as good as games as footies you would have seen throughout the year. So it does, it's, you know, it's got, a, got a focus for both teams in the town and um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great game of footy to be part of. And, you know, that's the exciting part as we, we sit here on the eve of it, getting ready to go, knowing that, um, they're always tough games, but they're great games, and that's what that's what footy's about. Okay, so it's not not on the free to wear. Okay, well that's the decision which broadcasters and others make. It's beyond my pay scale. Oh, I think it's. A, I mean, as I agree with Ken, I think it's a significant game in the in the footy calendar. Um, you know how how that needs to be shown or you know displayed is is really up to as I said people above well above my my pay scale. Well, the new skipper, <laughs> he's done it before, he's done it before, and he's, he's got a pretty good record too in showdowns too. It's it's well, it's quite a crazy story, isn't it? When you think about what we've gone through at the start of the year with our joint captains and. You know, we've got no one in our leadership group available this week, so Trav steps back up the plate. You know, I, the conversation with Trav early in the week, because we knew the other boys were in some trouble, was um, we basically went like this: "Hey, Trav, would you?" He said, "Yes." <laughs> so I'd love to be. You know, it's you know, I feel like it's my role to take on the boys and lead them and and show them the way. I've done it plenty of times before. It won't interfere with the way I play. Any interest in wearing the number one again? <laughs> no, no. 
said one got too heavy for him, he reckons, in the end. So 10, he feels much lighter and he's running much quicker. So he's in bloody good form, I know that. Oh, I thought we've seen a response from Scott after quarter time last week too. I think he's, he's been really, really good for us. You know, so Scotty knew the importance of um, you know Grundy last week particularly, and you know we understood that he he didn't quite get it right early, but he's been really good for us. So I suspect that he will play this a similar game that he's played for. What have we played? Six and three quarter quarters. So he, he may have had a start with probably five minutes. He had a quite patch. How big's Ross test then on the other side of that? I mean, that's probably as big as it gets for a young guy. Yeah, fant- oh, a great opportunity for Rob. I mean, he's, he's come in and you know, he's built game on game, as I said at the end of the game last week. I think he's just continued to improve week on week out and he played really well last week. And, you know, Ryder Lysette here, showdown. Um, what a great opportunity. If you're young, you know, so at the start of the year, if you'd said you're going to lead the ruck first showdown, he would have been jumping out of his skin, which he is now. So he's, uh, he's excited by it and he's ready to go. And it's, a, it's a good opportunity and a good challenge at the same time. What sort of game can we expect? I mean, it's probably not going to be the old 14, 14 at half time like it was for you guys last week. Yeah. Guys Don't know. What are you thinking? <laughs> oh, it's really, it's really, it's, I mean, it's a, it's a challenge because you don't know. I mean, certainly the way we wanted to play last week didn't, it wasn't sort of to go in at fourteen to twelve at half time. It was just the way the game panned out. So um, each game throws something different up. I think you know both teams are probably you know would like to move the ball quickly if they can, and we'll see if they get the opportunity to do it tomorrow night. So um, for me, it's it still comes down to your ability to win contest, and that be stoppage, ground ball. Ahead of the ball, behind the ball. That's that's what you know we're, we're looking at from our viewpoint. Is can we can we deliver in that space? Yeah, I've had to um, speak to a couple of you know, two, I think, maybe Will Berg and O'Brien who have been on the show before. Have you had to speak to them or get your leaders to sort of give them a bit of an idea or a sense of what to really expect tomorrow? No, nah, those guys have been. They're not like first year guys. They've been at the club long enough. They've been to the games. They they know what it's like. And as Ken said, you you walk around the town this week. You. You'd have to be, you know, living down a borough to think that, you know, not be aware that there's a showdown going on. It's it's pretty big. So, um, yeah, it's a great opportunity for those guys, and they get to taste it for the first time tomorrow night. How do you find Elliot sort of handled his step up to senior footy? Yeah, he's been really good. You know, he's got him on our list for three years. Um, he's sort of built himself a, a body and a capability to, you know, to to be ready to play that sort of role. And um, nothing really much phases Elliot. He's uh, he's he's pretty cruisy. So, but he's a great competitor. Um, so, you know, again, great chance for him tomorrow night. It is every game, you know, regardless of whether it's showdown or not, or whether it's us against Collingwood or Adelaide against Freo. It's a contest. That's where the game stops and starts. But we would look at both. If we look at last year's showdowns, both sides, I think, scored 90 points. So I suspect that the game will still get into some open, free-flowing football at some point. We'll be doing our best to stop them from getting too much of it and hopefully trying to create a lot ourselves. So, But if you don't win the contest, you don't get a chance to do any of that stuff. So, critical. I'm not so sure that I had as much of a smile as Don perhaps had on Friday night in the first quarter. So, yeah, games are games. The boys are fresh. They're ready to play. Both sides will be up. It's a showdown. We'll be right. What advantage from next week for those rest? I wouldn't have thought so. No, I wouldn't have thought so. Not in this competition. It'll start again when the siren goes tomorrow night. Ken, we saw Ollie this morning in crutches and in a moon boat. Is it more serious than what the club anticipated at the start? Than a small fracture in his leg? Yeah. No, it's pretty serious. So that's that's what it is. He's he's uh, going to miss a, a period of time. That's that's just the way it goes. What he does that collision injuries, you just can't. You, what can you do about them? You know, it's just what happens. So sort of a month at this stage, Ken, that he'll miss, or yeah, without predicting exact timelines, I, I suspect he won't be around for two or three at least. And um, you know, we would we, be very cautious with that. We you know, if we look at our draw, we got the buy coming up in about four weeks. So I reckon you'd be you'd be fair to say either just prior to the buy or just after. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks. 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 Thanks.